It's been over a decade since we last saw the Trailblazer name here in America, but I'm here at the 2019 LA Auto Show where Chevrolet has just taken the wraps off of the all new 2021 Trailblazer. Let's take a first look. So if you guys remember the old Trailblazer, it was a considerably larger vehicle that did quite well for Chevrolet over the years. So for this all new generation, they took a lot of design inspiration from the all new Chevrolet Blazer. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting Chevrolet to introduce another Trailblazer, at least not in this size. This is a car that slots between the Chevrolet Trax and the Chevrolet Equinox. I was expecting it to be a bigger vehicle, but now the Blazer is actually the bigger vehicle, which is, it was reversed before. The Blazer used to be smaller, while the Trailblazer was the larger vehicle. Now looking at the front fascia, you can see it has styling that's kind of reminiscent of the Chevrolet Camaro. You have headlight modules that are separate from the actual LED daytime running light. You have an incandescent turn signal. This one here looks like it has kind of like a bi-xenon design, or actually it's an LED design, which is good because the, tra or the Blazer has just a bi-xenon headlight as standard, whereas it looks like they put an LED low beam on the Trailblazer. There's a fog light down here, which looks like it's a halogen design. And overall, this one here is known as the active trim level. I think it's more of an off-road oriented model. It includes things like the blacked out chrome, uh, a little bit more of a more aggressive front fascia. And overall, let me know what you think of the looks of this vehicle. I am a little bit disappointed because this is still based on a car-based platform. In fact, if you guys look at my video on the Buick uh, Encore GX, this rides on the same platform as the Encore GX and it also shares the same powertrains. Underneath the hood, you're gonna find a choice of two engines, a 1.2 liter three-cylinder turbocharged engine, which is only front-wheel drive and paired with a CVT. If you guys go for the all-wheel drive like this one, you get a 1.3 liter turbocharged three-cylinder, which offers 155 horsepower. The smaller engine offers 100. 37 horsepower. This combination with all-wheel drive is mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission that is a GM design transmission. It's actually a really good transmission. So you guys are probably going to want the turbo with all-wheel drive to get the better transmission option. Now, looking at the rest of the profile, you can see it has that very uh, in-style two-tone roof combination with the white, with this interesting kind of beige brownish color. It actually looks pretty good. I like how distinctive it looks. It reminds me a little bit of like a Kia Soul or that new Kia Seltos. This is a car that will compete with the new Kia Seltos. Now, this particular one here being the active version does have, it looks like a meteor all-terrain look tire um, wrapped in this kind of black wheel. These are 17 inch wheel wrapped in 225 with tires. So again, this is a small crossover. So you have these skinnier wheels. You do get more ground clearance versus something like the Kia Seltos. It looks like this one has a little bit more off-road credentials. Now, as you can see, the rest of the side profile, the white contrasting roof looks good. You have a traditional three box shape for an SUV. And then back here at the rear, you see again, the Chevrolet Blazer design influence here with these LED combination rear tail lights, the bow tie on them at the, at the back. And then down here, there's a lot of blingy chrome at the back, but I do like the fact that they did include a dual integrated exhaust outlet underneath the rear bumper area. Now looking at the cargo space, um, this carb having the same dimensions as the Encore GX, you get roughly around the same space. So around 25 and a half cubic feet of space. Fold down those seats, which the front passenger seat also folds down, you get around 59 cubic feet of space. So good practicality. Uh, this is riding on the same new platform that underpins the new Encore GX. Now moving on to the interior of the Trailblazer, you can see it has the typical GM style interior here. There's a lot of contrasting materials, contrasting colors. It actually looks very nice at a glance. In terms of the materials, it is hard touch plastic here on this upper portion. Remember, this is kind of their lower cost entry. Down here, it's got some faux stitching with this textured material, plastic material. It's slightly padded, but it feels a little bit cheap. The door panels here are also hard touch plastic. A lot of the controls is what you're gonna find in the typical you know, Chevy vehicles. And then the steering wheel here is tilt telescoping. Now, thankfully, um, it does have all, most of the modern tech features you want, like the it, GM's, the Chevrolet MyLink infotainment system has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, you can get the option of like a Bose sound system. And above me, you can see there is the option of a panoramic sunroof, which is nice, very unexpected, but also kind of expected because the Buick Encore GX offers the same panoramic sunroof because remember these two ride on the same platform. Now in terms of space, I have a nice upright seating position. It feels relatively roomy in here because of the boxy design. Uh, and I also like the fact that there are some traditional knobs here for the climate controls, the shifter here for the nine speed auto. There's a button here for your lane keep assist, a wireless phone charger. So a lot of the modern tech features. So I think this will do extremely well when it does go on sale uh, in the spring of next year. Now the back seat of the Trailblazer you can see is also quite spacious considering how small this vehicle is. 
The floor is almost completely flat here, so you could put three people across. And at five foot seven, I have plenty of foot space and legroom here uh, with the driver's seat kind of adjusted to where I am. The headroom is also decent, although somebody who's probably over six feet is going to be brushing their head along the roof. Fold this down, you have a nice armrest here with two cup holders, no rear seat air vents, but you, you do get two USB ports and a power outlet. So if you guys didn't like the looks of the rugged active trim, this is the RS trim. You can see it's got sportier black accents and different exhaust tips. It actually looks quite attractive in this red exterior color. So if you guys are looking to purchase the all new Trailblazer, you can actually pick this up at your local Chevy dealership starting in the spring of 2020. And Chevy actually already had pricing. They said it'll start at under $20,000 for the base version. I'm going to imagine with GM's track record and all the options, this one's probably closer to $30,000. But as you can see, it is an attractively styled little crossover that should do well when it goes on sale in the spring of next year. For Redline Reviews here at the 2019 LA Auto Show, I'm Sophie Bay.